The vector offset constraint allows a point to be placed on a vector that passes through two points infinitely to either side of the two parent points. So imagine here I have my vector, parent 1 and parent 2, and if I add a vector offset constraint to this point, then it will lie anywhere within the vector along here in regards to the offset I get it. So if I right click and I edit point A1, I'll set my constraint to vector offset and then I'll pick parent 1 to parent 2. And I'll give it a value of 0 and then the point will lie directly on the vector. And you can see right here it's on the vector and I'll go ahead and add it to point A2 as well. I'll select parent 1 to parent 2 and I'll give it a value of 0. So now if I test this, you can see that no matter where the point goes, it, both of those points are still um, along the vector. And if I wanted to set it to an offset, a positive value is going to be to the right of the vector from parent 1 to parent 2. So the vector starts from parent 1, goes to parent 2, and it'll be on the right side. So you can see here from parent 1 to parent 2, it's on the right side. And if I do a negative value, it'll be on the left side. Just like that. And so if I test this, you can see that it still stays along the left or right side along the vector.